It is super windy in Palm Springs and uh, they're having a dust storm today so that's not very much fun. Hopefully where we're going to tuck in is going to be wind protected. Iconic Prom Springs, the Rancho Supercar Wash. This pink elephant is so famous to a lot of the art in Palm Springs. So now we're at the car wash today. Ooh, look at how dirty ninth is. There's all these chemicals and things all over her. So let's get it clean. And just like that, look at ninth, all nice and shiny. Oh yeah, just going to wipe her up a little bit. Well, good morning. This is today's uh, coffee spot. Um, we came down from Quartzsite yesterday to Palm Springs. Actually, no, we weren't Quartzsite. We were at the Hippie Hole camping. Love that spot on the Colorado River. But uh, no, we came down here because it was still going to be decent weather. We had a few things we needed to get in a bigger city. Uh, we're both mid-century modern lovers, so we want to check some of that stuff out. Um, just had breakfast in the van and uh, just shooting the shit, reading comments and stuff like that on the channel, maybe answering a few of them. Setting up the premiere today is a Thursday, so the premiere is tomorrow, but gosh guys look at this view and there's snow right up there can't believe it good morning it's another morning and uh well i'm in the solus pocket paxton's patio here in palm springs let me just these are the sacramento mountains this morning we got moira and david Much better. i'm your daily affirmation daily affirmation Get up, show up, and show the world you're a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's right. Woo! And so it is. Good morning. Okay, so now it's just after breakfast. We washed the cars and went for, well, actually it was brunch. Because I had a hot dog and <laughs> french fries with sauerkraut for brunch. We are heading up to the Walmart to get a few supplies. And then uh, there's a, still a high wind warning, and uh, so I think we're just going to check in at the park and detail our cars, and I'm going to catch up on email. That's the update now. Isn't it a gorgeous day here in Palm Springs? First week of January. Well, what's the date? Oh, it's sometime in January. It's gorgeous. And it's a restock day. It's been a week since we went grocery shopping. Okay, so getting water was a total fail, but we just went to Flying J and had a shower. $18 shower, wow, luxury. But that's still cheaper than a hotel room. Um, and I'm so not interested in a, in a gym membership either. I'm just, it's not my thing. You know, I don't work out. <laughs> the only thing I run for is the ice cream truck. Okay, we're off to get some Mexican food now. And just look at this gorgeous sunny day. It's uh, freezing rain in Oregon right now. All of our friends are in, uh, they've closed the Megler Bridge in Astoria. Our friend Tessa just sent us pictures of her house with ice on it. They've lost power. Sounds miserable. I'm so glad I'm in Palm Springs. The next stop is Mexican food, yeah.
look at how shiny 9th is. I tried a new application today, which I'm just going to see how well it lasts on 9th. <clears throat> but I have detailed her all the way around. And now we're going to go for dinner. It's Saturday night. We are now downtown Palm Springs. We're going to go for some pizza. Well, good morning. It is another day here in Palm Springs. As you can see, I've got those gorgeous mountains behind me again. It's early. It's a Friday and I'm making coffee on the back of ninth. It's uh, got down to freezing. The grass is a little crunchy this morning, but I'm making my coffee and my miso. Sister gave me these ones from the Asian store in Canada. So I'm making that kind of miso today and coffee. And then I'm gonna go hang out in Paxton. I am my own best friend. Other people are total dicks. Oh my God, that was so perfect. <laughs> Kids just grabbing you off the tripod here. <laughs> it is another absolutely brilliant and gorgeous day here in Palm Springs. Let me just lock the door. Ninth deep. Enjoying the sunshine. I don't know. It's like 60 or 62, three, four, who knows? Um, I'm in a short sleeve yoga pants, but uh, going to the monkey way mid-century modern furniture. Moisey's going to wait for us in the van.
Well, good morning. It is another morning here in Palm Springs. Let me just flip you around. Oh, it's gorgeous. The rest of the country is under ice and snow. <laughs> and uh, it only is getting down to about 43 now here in Palm Springs. Uh, we decided to come here and not go uh, north up to Quartzsite in Arizona and Yuma. Because the weather's shite. So <laughs> this morning we thought we'd go and visit something very iconic and beautiful. So I'll just take you with me. This is downtown. This is the Happening District. It's um, where a lot of the mid-century modern hotels and things are. And uh, great restaurants. The Museum of Modern Art is off to our left here, as is, who's this, who's this, oh my goodness, yep, hang on, who is this right here, who is that, who's that lady right there? Let's go get a closer look of her, okay? Okay, let's get you off the tripod here. pants <laughs> what do you see up there oh my does she oh she at least she has oh she's got lacy panties she's on she's got lacy panties on yeah so you probably wouldn't expect me to be you know standing under Marilyn's buttocks <laughs> first thing in the morning here in Palm Springs we are having a great time here just hanging out with Marilyn how tall do you think she is well 40 feet. It's like some kind of like it's plaster on metal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mindy. I'm so glad. Did you ever think you'd be under a woman's dress? No, <laughs> I didn't. I'm just I'm so glad that they played they did this homage to Marilyn Monroe. It just is really fantastic. And what a better place than in front of the um, Palm Springs Art Museum, which right. is the Museum of uh, Modern Art and History. So that's basically what David and I have been doing here for a week. We've just been wandering around Palm Springs, uh, going to cute little secret gardens like this, hanging out, hiking, going to antique stores. We've gone out for some really delicious food. Palm Spring is, is really easy for van life if you are in a small rig like we are. If you're in something large, it's a little bit more difficult. He's tagging, he's tagging right now. David's doing his dishes. I'm hanging out in the captain's chair in Paxton. We're in Palm Springs. This is Martin Luther King Day. And uh, we woke up this morning and it was 40 degrees. Ninth is right there. Got the door open. And uh, had coffee. Looked at a... So we were going to go on this hike today. Can you imagine this? There's this hike. Thousand Palms uh, Botanical Preserve hike and uh, species preserve and it is only open on Saturdays and Sundays but it's not even open for the holiday today so we can't even go on this hike today so we have to wait till next weekend to do that. Yeah. Well, 
We are now at Thousand Palms Canyon. It's the visitor center and main area is closed um, Monday through Friday, but we can still get into the canyon hiking this way around the hill. So that's what we're going to do today. So this is the Thousand Palms Canyon Natural Preserve. We can't bring Moira. We can't bring Moira the pupper with us because no puppers are allowed. So this is just a people's morning hike today. So pretty. Okay, so we've almost made it to the canyon. And these are the old trees. And I'm hoping there's water in there and a waterfall. So there's these little tiny yellow flowers. And I don't know if you were watching my video earlier this year when I was in Arizona um, and they had just had a rain, but these make the whole area smell like honey. It's like someone opened a jar of honey and just poured it over the whole area. It smells so good. Yeah, so here's another desert flower. It just rained here last week. It's supposed to rain again this weekend, but these are super fragrant too. It's just filling this whole, that and that little yellow daisy are filling this whole area with this gorgeous fragrance. It smells very tropical. So this is the little flower here. and Oh, it's, it smells really tropical. So it looks like a while ago, there was a fire in this area. Yeah. Fire, be careful folks. You can see from the sides of this some people call these washes. Um, I call them arroyos from Baja days. But yeah, the water comes crazy, rushing through here, rushing, 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 and then all the way down there and into the culverts into the city. Coachella Valley Preserve Boundary. The land behind this sign includes ecologically sensitive habitat for endangered species, unauthorized entry prohibited, no off-road. Should we, we? We just came from this way. Were we supposed to be here? Yeah, it says no off-road vehicles oh. hunting, dumping, or discharging of firearms, oh, which we've okay. seen. Yeah, evidence of all of that. Right. And this is a teddy bear cactus, and oh my goodness, you could sew. You could, <laughs> you could make a sewing needle with one of these quills, and probably sew some kind of sensitive fabric. So take a look at this. Uh, this is a geodesic dome house. Isn't that crazy? It's kind of like a roundhouse. Yeah, that's cool. Geodesic dome. Isn't this a beautiful day? Oh my gosh. Good morning. It's um, 6.30 in the morning here in Palm Springs. We got the sun coming up behind me. Oh, we've got the Sacramento mountains up ahead getting lit up. There's there's Paxton. Here's 9th. We are in a neighborhood in Palm Springs. And this is what we like to do. We like to come and park in this neighborhood at night. Just get in the door. Getting in the car. I'll flip you around. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back in 9th again. Been really comfortable and cozy. So yeah, I have been in Palm Springs for six days now. And David and I are having an amazing time. And it's just so easy for us to van life here. It might not be easy for other folks. Um, this is, gosh, it's, <laughs> I've lost track. I've been here at least maybe nine times. And so I feel very comfortable coming here. I know my way around. I know the neighborhoods. I know the parks, uh, where to go shopping and whatnot. And it's just amazing. The rest of the country is under uh, severe winter 
weather alerts. I just uh, was able to touch base at a live last night that Jaylena had saying that a branch fell on the house. Kids, I hope you're okay. And I hope everybody's warm. I'm glad you have your vehicles to hang out in and uh, and and stay warm. Um, put some heat on here. Oh my goodness. It's probably only, it's probably 44 this morning. It, so when I traveled down here, it got down like to 19 up in Northern California. And oh God, that was cold. But anyways, um, I'm off to Walmart this morning. And then I'm going to go to the park and make my coffee. And then I think when David gets up, let's flip you around. He's sleeping right there in the Polly Pocket. So when David gets up and he gets going, um... <clears throat> We're gonna go on a hike today. That's what we do during the day. We like to go on a hike and um, go see things. <clears throat> oh, my window's a little froggy. It's gonna get a bit loud up there for you. Okay, I'll come back. Good morning. I'm in um, Rancho Mirage now. <laughs> I'm making some miso on the tailgate of 9th out in front of the library. <laughs> It's a beautiful mid-century modern library. And I'm going to be um, hanging out for a few hours. Um, I'm not going to say anything just yet, but I'll, I will talk about it eventually on the channel. But I've got, uh, I've got a new collaboration with the company to bring some more products to the Honda Element community. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make my miso, go inside and hopefully book a private room. If not, find a nice spot to tuck in commandeer the Wi-Fi, upload a video for you, and then we're gonna head to do a reset. So like a laundry, showers, that kind of stuff, groceries, and then we're gonna head up to. 